Hey friends, have you ever thought about what it means to be a serious follower of Christ? Serious. Not just a Christian, quote unquote, like that. But, but uh, you know, somebody who's really committed to following Jesus Christ. I don't think that you can be serious about this without listening to, hearing, and responding obediently to his word. And you can't respond obediently to his, to his word without knowing his word. So, uh, you know, I know I'm preaching the choir because you're watching this, you're listening to this, you're listening to God's word. But I encourage you to spend time reading it, thinking about it, meditating on it, right? Keep reading your Bibles, listening to podcasts like this, uh, maybe Christian radio, but also being part of a local assembly, uh, you know, like Mesquite Bible Church, where you're regularly hearing God's word and surrounding yourself with those, uh, with others who are as well, and obeying it, right? But I, I share all this to, because uh, Psalm 119 focuses on God's word. And in the portion I want to share with you today is from Psalm 119, verses 105 to 112. And the psalmist says, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light for my path, 105. Down verse 11, your statutes are my heritage forever. They're the joy of my heart. He rejoices and, and he meditates on it and he embraces it and he loves it. He loves hearing God's word and seeks with all of his heart to obey it. That's that's what I try and do. Now, you know, my my flesh within me fights against that at times, right? But I need to continue to wrestle, as it were, with myself to give my heart to the Lord. Psalm 119, verses 105 through 112. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light for my path. I've taken an oath and confirmed it that I'll follow your righteous laws. I've suffered much. Preserve my life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept, O Lord, the willing praise of my mouth and teach me your laws. Though I constantly take my life in my hands, I'll not forget your law. The wicked have set a snare for me, but I've not strayed from your precepts. Your statutes are my heritage forever. They're the joy of my heart. My heart is set on keeping your decrees to the very end. To the very end, O oh, God right? Help us to remain faithful to the very end. You know, as you think and pray for me, your pastor, other Christian leaders, pray that we will keep his decrees the very end, that we'd be an example, a source of inspiration, encouragement to others to keep God's decrees to the very end. Oh, right, right as the psalmist says, Psalm 139, verses 23 and 24. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me. And, O God, lead me in the way everlasting. Hey, be encouraged today.